Hi guys, my name's James, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and today I'm gonna to show you a bit around my Modix Big 60. I don't use this Modix for work as such. Uh, I'm an amateur 3D printer, modeler, you might say. And when I went to choose what machine I was gonna was gonna to buy to to pull off some of these creations that you can see in front of the machine at the moment. Uh, there wasn't many choices to go for, for the value, you know, for the bang for buck, value for money, and I suppose the build quality and quality of components this machine has. What I'm gonna do is, as you can see, the Modix is running. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, its capabilities. I've had the machine for about eight months. I've ran it through different size nozzles. I've ran different filaments, ran different speeds. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light this machine up. We're gonna open up all the doors and we're gonna go through some of the cool stuff that you can do with this machine. Hi guys. So Got some lighting on now, I've got the lid off. Let's have a look what the Modix Big 60's got. So, at a first glance, it's a big printer. Uh, you've, got a, you've got a print size of 600 by 600 by 660 high. There's a choice of different options that you can go for uh, with, with nozzles and things like that. At the moment, I'm running a, a Super Volcano with a 0.6 nozzle and running a, a 0.3 layer height. So at the moment, the Modix is running at about 60 millimeters per second. I'm doing my supports a bit slower uh, just, to, just to maintain their, um, their rigid, uh, the, the rigidness of them. But uh, in that set, let me have a look what we're cutting out here. We're working on a new uh, Star Wars model. It's a K2SO. And what we're actually uh, printing right now is, I'll pull this one back. So that's the K2 we're printing. And at the moment, we're working on the two top thighs, which are these bits here. Um, so in the slicer, what do we got? We have these cut out in the slicer, your supports, uh, all in place there, a good, a good, um, infill there and going back to it, couldn't be happier with the results. Just open the side doors for you. So when we're talking about the machine, it's got awesome capabilities, but before we go into that, let's just have a look at some of the way it's built. So it's a full 4040 aluminium extrusion uh, with uh, a three millimeter uh, composite aluminium panel uh, for the enclosure. Now, the Big 60 doesn't come uh, with the enclosure. It's actually a, uh, an option and just going around and showing you. So you, when you buy the Big 60, you, you do you have the option of getting the, the full three millimeter composite enclosure, which I do highly recommend. As I went through the build uh, and got to the stage where, okay, I was ready to print without the enclosure, the, the machine was steady. It was solid, it was great. As soon as I put the enclosure on, I felt the, the machine just, it felt a lot tighter. Um, it just it just felt better, and 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 also the the uh, the enclosure is great. It keeps your drafts out. It keeps your fumes in. If you opt for your um your air filtration system, which you can get as an option, it's great. Um, if you want to print uh, stuff that's prone to warping on your bed and things, yeah, the enclosure is fantastic. Uh, you're not going to be doing high temperature stuff like peak and stuff like that. That's for a different kind of printer, but for um. For my purposes, uh, PETG, um, ABS, uh, PLA, obviously, 
is uh, no drama for the printer. So, talking about the uh, sort of the, look, the best of breed that comes with the, the big 60, the best of breed components, um, the, the engineering alone uh, of, of the way everything fits together on this printer is, is quite amazing. Uh, all the parts are, are machined, um, you've got the aluminium components, you've got some steel bits, but it's all nicely machined. And you know what? It all just fits together, like, like the perfect jigsaw puzzle. Everything just fits into place, which is very satisfying for me. Um, I've had kits before, and they've been just a disaster. Um, look, build time, I, I did take my time a little bit on this. Uh, so it took me about six days and that was working about four hours a day, which wasn't too bad. Um, so getting to um, the way we control the modics. And it's basically either via your, your big touch screen that you have here, which is the, uh, the Duet 3D uh, or the, the Duet 2. Um, uh, inside there but the way you control it is either by the touch screen or better 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 yet is the uh, the web interface and it's um, it's uh, easy to use and not an issue so we're basically connected now straight to the modics and it's uh, giving us uh, some data and, and stuff like that got everything you need here you can control your fans you can control your temps your bed temperatures and all that now one thing i have to mention with running this kind of duet stuff is everything is super easy and it works all the time setting your z offset literally takes you 30 seconds well give yourself a minute with the duet and the way the guys at Modix have programmed this up with all the easy to use macros, I'm telling you they're, they're my best friend, these macros. Z offset, 30 seconds, I'm done. So, quality of components. All your belts on, on the whole machine are gates. Basically, they're gonna just go forever. Look, don't quote me on that, but they're, they're really good. Then you've got your 4040 aluminium extrusion, which is basically framing the whole machine. Rigid as, not moving anywhere. Um, oh, it's a must. It's an option, they're casters. So the machine's quite heavy when it's all constructed. It's, yeah, and it's, it's very rigid and things. These casters, look, I'm, I'm a fan of good casters and I was skeptical when I got these because uh, I was told by the guys at Modix that you can roll this thing over carpet with our casters and the weight of the big 60. So I said, yep, I'll take them. And yep, I put these casters on and I'm not gonna roll the machine now, but my wife can roll this machine easy on these casters on carpet, which is a big plus. So components again, genuine high wind linear rails. A must, if you're gonna go precision, Look, you can get sheet rails, go high wind, beautiful, lovely. The aluminium bed, super smooth, super thick, warms up super quick, runs on your uh, AC power. You have the integrated uh, BL touch system on this, which when you do an auto level, it will probe the whole bed 100 times, give you a beautiful mesh, and then basically I just do that once, uh, maybe once every 15 prints, and then I'll just run a bed level again. So it's not necessary before every print, but yeah, uh, I just do it every after every maybe 15 prints, just to check and make sure everything's nice and straight. Um, so coming around the machine, uh, so you do have the option to buy the machine uh, with our, oh, sorry, you do have the option to buy the enclosure, which what, what you see is a three millimeter aluminum composite. I highly recommend it. Um, when you put this, this enclosure on and, and you close the lid, uh, the, the machine's contained. It, it, it's, 
yeah, you can add your um, uh, your your air purification systems that might excel, and yeah, trap all your gases inside. If you're up to that kind of stuff, if you you know if you're using uh, ABS, it can let off a kind of uh, fume, and yeah, probably good not to smell it. So that option's there. That's a benefit of the enclosure. Uh, also, uh, keeping some of that heat in. Now this heat bed generates uh, a lot of heat and uh, becomes your friend uh, if you need to run your enclosure uh, warmer for specific types of filaments, whether it be, um, look, um, your ABS type uh, filaments. Yeah, you can, you can do it in the Modix. I've done it and it's not a problem. And basically your PETGs, your, your, um, your PLAs, not a drama at all. The Modix, uh, at the moment, I've got it equipped with the three, uh, three kilo spool. It will handle up to a five kilo spool, not a drama. All your electronics, so your duet board, and, and basically all your wiring, all comes pre-wired. It's, it's like all loomed up, ready to go. And basically inside the box, uh, uh, you just connect it all up and it's, it's just all measured out for you. The wiring's so neat, comes in the back, through your panels if you're going to go, the option of the enclosure. And um, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a really neat, neat inside enclosure. There's your wires coming out of the back. Nothing too nasty. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen some other guys uh, and girls building these machines and they've got the wiring a little bit neater than me or um, yeah, but um, everything's just beautifully uh, done in cable tracks. Um, and it's, it, it's just a, a pleasure to print with. I sort of like, once you tune in this machine uh, with, your, with your slicer, it's one of those where you can hit play and walk away. Um, I, I've got so much confidence in, in my big 60 now with, with my current profiles that that's what I do. These are big prints I'm running. Um, this one's got 35 hours left. So I'm 35 hours in, 35 hours left. And that's all uh, on your screen there. No need for glasses. The screen, uh, the touch screen's huge. I've got, I've got a big hand, but yeah, look, touch screen's huge. Not a drama. So, with assembly, uh, assembly was um, really cool. As I mentioned before, with other other kits I've had, um, the you know things don't want to fit together and all that. Uh, not the case uh, with with this Modix Big Sixty build for me. Uh, it was it was really smooth. So everything comes flat packed. Um, and it's all packed up nicely. You, you get extras of everything, so you don't have to stress out if you, you shred a bolt or something like that. More than likely, there's extras there. Um, I've, I've ended up with heaps of parts left, which is great because if something, uh, something goes bang, uh, I most likely have a, a spare there for it or something that I can put in temporary uh, to get me past. But here's the good thing. Online manual. Now, this online manual, I, I give it a, a 10 out of 10 uh, for interactability and usability and whatever you want to call it. So you'll, you'll actually get access, access to this before your machine comes. Uh, it's the, it's the uh, Modix customer zone and we're in the V3 part and now we're looking down here and we're going to look at Big 60 V3 online assembly and calibration guides. Now, check this out. This is possibly one of the best manuals ever written. Let's go. Mechanical assembly, chassis assembly number one. Here we go. Pretty straightforward. It's saying in step one, we're gonna be making that, the enclosure, which you can't really see. It's, uh, it's on the inside there, but I did show you that 4040 extrusion, which you can see right there, which is really hardy it's top stuff that's what you're building in step one it's uh i'm just i i just want to run through this because it's quite important um to have really good instructions and things and it's basically if you remember the old lego lego guides and things like that it's fantastic i mean it just spells it all out what you're taking out of the bags what you've got to have in front of you 
and voila, videos. Close-ups of things that you might not be able to interpret that well through the instructions, close-up pictures, and they hit the buzzer with this. That's top stuff, I like that. Um, everything's really spelt out correctly to you. Like that little gap there, and it, you'll see more of this stuff as you go through it. And yeah, there's the more videos of it. And mind you, this is just for step one. So you've got videos galore. It's it's step by step telling you. It's saying, um, yeah, it's probably the best instructional manual for uh, a machine of this type um, that I've ever used. So hats off to that. On Modic's support side, and user support's been uh, really cool. Uh, had a had an issue after the build where um, my my game tree, my ex game tree, uh, was a bit jittery, and uh, they straight away acknowledged that um, I had uh, an issue with uh, this uh, actual cable here, which wasn't supplying enough uh, current to these two motors that you can see one here and one there. It was out in Express International Post, and I'm in Australia. It came within about five days. I was super impressed. Uh, got the machine back going. No dramas. Email support's been pretty fast. I think about under about 12 hours, about a 12 hour response for me, uh, which is good. Um, even better is the Modix Facebook uh, page where there's uh, some staff from Modix on there and a lot of really smart people who, who are using the Modix machines who can basically uh, give you a, an instant answer any time of the day. So this impressive uh, person model in front of us is, if you haven't guessed it, it's Walt from Breaking Bad. Uh, quickly, he's, he's oh, I was gonna say quickly, let's jump over to what he looks like uh in his model sort of form quite impressive in his yellow jumpsuit uh that you see the gun there and the uh the gas mask uh and yeah so let's have a look what the modix has done uh and what the modix hasn't done so having a look at his head you can see the modix has not done this because this is a different type of printer it is a resin printer and it's it, it, it that's all I bought it for and I'm just mucking around with resin for specific uh, kind of pieces on my big models uh, that I want high detail on that FDM printers cannot do so the rest of him uh, bar the the gun which was done in resin as well and the hand which is done in resin the rest is done on the Modix now interesting I've played around with different kind of nozzles and I've got different kind of outcomes. Walt here is printed in 0.3 layer with a 0.6 nozzle. The quality for me is great. I had some issues down here when I had some supports running up here to hold the zips. Uh, unfortunately, that's my error uh, where I was getting a bit of, um, uh, it, look, it was just messed up with my, my supports and I don't need to get into it, but yeah. Um, so basically the Modix continue to print the whole, the whole Walt, it's done in PETG and yeah, the 0.3 layer with the 0.6 nozzle. So then we get onto me experimenting with bigger nozzles. So we have a 0.8 nozzle here, uh, running at a 0.4, yeah, 0.4 layer. Uh, not ideal, not ideal at all, but I was just checking out what we could get away with here. Um, bit, a bit rough for me, this, uh, this kind of uh, nozzle selection. Uh, so that was done in the 0.8 nozzle, 0.4 layer, but then his arms were done in a 0.4 nozzle, 0.2 layer on the Modix, and they are exceptional. Um, they came out really beautiful. That's his other, other arm there. I did that in the, um, the, point, the 0.2 layer, uh, 0.4 nozzle. His head was done on the Modix in uh, the 0.4 nozzle, yeah, 0.2 layer, which pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, what else can we have a look at? We can have a look at now 
a one millimeter nozzle uh, pushing out a 0.65 layer and yep yeah, it's running the super volcano on the modix uh, really well to this all together and um, quite happy with that it's nowhere near the detail I need uh, but it's only a base it's only a base to hold a model